welcome to today's video where I'm going to be making Aries the Ram with polymer clay and I'll be making him as a pin badge. So in this video I'll be using these tools here which includes a pin badge fastening, a cookie cutter tool, a blaze cutting tool, a scalpel, a needle tool, some ball tools in a small and a medium size and an acrylic roller and I have some links to the tools down below in description as affiliate links. So for my Aries the Ram pin badge I'm going to be using these colours here so I'm using a pink and a red, a brown and a beige, some white and some black clay. Oh and I also use some turquoise clay as well but you can use whatever colours you like really. So I'm going to start with the red clay and with my cookie cutter here I've got the option to use a circle or a flower shape and I'm going to go for the flower shape I think. So I just need to press down pretty firmly and just pop that out like so. And because they never come out the neatest with these things, I'm just going to go round the edges with my small ball tool here, just into the little nooks there. And with my fingers as well, just to flatten down any sort of rough surfaces, etc. So there you go, it's a lot more neat now, I think. A lot more effective. And I'm going to move on to the pink now. And it's entirely up to you, but you can use just the one colour if you preferred as your background. Particularly if you're pretty new to polymer clay, um, I think this might be a little tricky until you, you get to know the material a little better. But I'm just doing the same with the pink clay as I did with the red. So I'm just going to go round the edges and just ensure that they're nice and neat. Again, you can use any colours for backgrounds that you, you like really. So I'm just placing the red flower shape directly on top of the pink and it has to match up really well. And with my blaze cutting tool, I'm just going to go right down the centre. And across at a right angle. I'm basically doing the same as I did with my Leo the Lion video um, that I'll link to above if you've not seen that. And now I'm going to make the quarter shapes into eights. So I now have a total of 16 shapes. So what I want to do is just use alternating colours really. So from the first I'll just pop the red back down and from the second I'll use the pink. Just can be a little fiddly actually and um, you might get remnants of the wrong colour on your clay but it doesn't matter too much because you can always wipe those off with a, a wet wipe. So there we go, I'm sure you can see what I'm doing now, I'm just alternating the colours. And that looks pretty neat, pretty happy with that. And as I say, you can easily go over your piece with a wet wipe. Just need to make sure that you don't sort of mess up the lines really, that, that's the only thing you need to be careful of. And to ensure that the pieces all stick together pretty well, I'm just going to go over with my acrylic roller pretty lightly and just go over with my wet wipe again. So I'm happy with the background so now I'm going to move on to Aries the Ram's head. So I'm just making a very loose uh, ram head shape really. Just try and make it as symmetrical as possible. And with my scalpel here I'm just going to put in a little triangle just to represent the nose really. And I've made two very small balls of black clay here just to pop into the eye sockets. You need to make sure that they're of the same size really. And I'm just going to press down with my medium sized ball tool. 
Once those are done, I can add in some white clay for the eyeballs. And again, you need to ensure that they're of um, pretty much exactly the same size, unless you wanna go for a more surreal look really. Perhaps you want one with a big eye and a little eye, entirely up to you. And I'm just gonna pat those down with my fingers. And to ensure that they're nice and clean, I'm just gonna go over with my wet wipe again. And some pupils. I'm just gonna go for round pupils, but you can make yours oblong. And I just need to ensure that there's plenty of backgrounds available for the, the ram's horns, which there is. So I'm just gonna place on some very sort of basic ear shapes first. So for the horns, I've got two very similar sized balls of clay here in the beige colour and I need to make those into sort of long cone shapes really. And with my needle tool, I can just create some detail really easily. Makes them look a little like parsnips really. Perhaps I should do some more food tutorials at some point. And once that's done, I'm just doing exactly the same with the second one. So now they've both had their textures added, I'm just going to start curling them over like so. And I'm going to do the other one, but in reverse. And I think they look pretty convincing as horns really. So now it's a case of just assembling the piece, so I'm going to pop on Aerie's head first and then add on the horns. And you just need to make sure that they're attached securely really, so it just takes a little bit of time to ensure that they're pressed in firmly. And I'll just use my wet wipe again just to ensure that they're pressed down really well but you've got no fingerprints. And I might just add in a little bit of detail here at the bottom. It's twofold really because you know it looks nice but it helps to attach the pieces together better as well. And just do the same on the other side. And I'll add on just some little cheeks like so. If you're new to my channel, my name's Lizzie and I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator. And I make weekly videos about my polymer clay sculptures and some tutorials such as this one. So by all means, if you like what you see, go and hit that subscribe button. And I'll just add some finishing touches to the horns. And because it's very sort of heavy on the red and pink tones, I think I'd like to add just a contrasting pop of colour, really, just to make it come alive. So basically I'm just adding some tiny little turquoise balls here and there. And I think it makes it look a lot more eye-catching. So here's my artwork all done and pretty happy with it. So now I'm ready to bake the piece, so at this point you'll need to refer to your own brand of polymer clay's baking instructions. So now Aries the Ram is all baked and cooled, so I'm going to add just a tiny amount of Sculpey glaze to the piece. Just on the turquoise balls I think, it doesn't actually need a, a whole lot I don't think this one, and maybe just to the cheeks as well. And to make the artwork into a badge, I'm just using a two-part epoxy glue here. And I'll just add a dollop onto the badge attachments, like so. And because there's quite a lot of weight at the top of the badge due to the horns, I'm going to place the badge attachment a little higher than usual just to offset that. And it will need around 24 hours to dry, so I'm just going to place it on an old wet wipe. So here he is, all done, and uh, yeah, it's quite a striking piece actually, I, I wasn't sure how it would go because um, essentially this was the first attempt, so pretty happy with it. 
and he matches up really well with my Leo the Lion badge as well. So which one to do next? See you next time.